Hello, my name is Patricia Holmes, and this is part two of chapter eight. So we just built this button here, and now what we're gonna do um, per the chapter instructions is we're gonna actually duplicate this button, and then we're gonna edit it. So the first thing I want you to do is go into the library, find the button. I want you to right click the button and click duplicate. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this the second uh, button in our chapter, and we're gonna name it Gary, Gary button. And we're gonna make sure the type is button, we're gonna hit okay. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. So now we just, um, we made a duplicate of that. And what we're gonna do is we are going to go back to the library and we're going to double click the icon for the newly duplicated button. So see this icon, double click it, and that puts us in editing mode. See the Gary Gary here? So now we're going to select uh, the restaurant image on the stage, click that little restaurant image here, and then in the property panel, we're going to hit the swap icon. It's right here where my mouse is. Click the swap icon, and you're gonna swap this out with the Gary Gary thumbnail. The Gary Gary, go to the thumbnails and go Gary Gary. Click OK. And um, then what we are gonna do is we're gonna go um, look at the timeline. See all these layers we duplicated, so these already exist. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna to go to the over keyframe and we're gonna switch this out with the Gary Gary information. So go ahead and click the swap button. Again, so first of all, we need to click, we need to click literally this. We're gonna swap this and then this time we are going to click the Gary Gary on the restaurant previews. We're going to click OK. Now the sound, we really don't need to do much with the sound. Um, and then what we're going to, so we pretty much, we just did a really fast job of creating this button by duplicating the first one and making some changes. So let's go ahead and go back to the main timeline, go to the library, I want you to click the Gary Gary button here, and I want you to drag it onto the stage. And we're going to line these all up together. Uh, line this up there. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing to the next two buttons. So I'll walk you through this really quickly. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. So go right click and you're gonna choose duplicate. And then our next button that we are going to do is called, let's go ahead and do the Il Piatto, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I-L-P-I-A-T-T-O button. We're gonna click okay. We're gonna double click the icon we're gonna come over here on the literal, on the food part. We're gonna click it. We're gonna swap that image out by hitting the swap image button. And then we are going to hit the Il Piatto thumbnail. And then what we are gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the over state. We're gonna literally click on top of it. We're gonna swap out the Gary to the Il Piatto over information. Uh, we're going to click OK. And <clears throat> um, wow, we're done with our third button. So go ahead and drag that on out onto the stage. Go to the library. Grab this one. And again, we're going to line all these up here in a moment. Let's finish up our fourth button. Uh, right click duplicate what we just did. And this uh, final button is called Pierre Platters. P-I-E-R-R-E -R -R -E, Platters. Make sure you, the type is button, hit okay. Double click the icon here, 
to go into editing mode, click the main body of this, come to your property, hit swap, click the peer platter image or thumbnail, good. And next what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the layer 3 on the overstate, click it, hit swap, peer, click OK. Excellent. We're going to come back to the main stage, go into the library, grab the symbol and drag it onto the stage, and that copy on the stage is called an instance. Okay, good. Now, excellent. What we want to do for the first button in the property panel is we want to click it, and we want to come over here to the property panel, and we want the X value to be at 100, and we want the Y value to be at I'm sorry. Yeah, we want the um, X value to be at 100 on the first button. And then uh, the author is asking us to select the last button and have the X value at 680. So type in 680 there. And then we're going to select all four buttons and we're going to click uh, the alignment key. So uh, we could drag these around manually, or we could just uh, select all four of them. And we're going to go into the alignment key, so go Window, and I want you to come down here to Align. And what we're going to do is we are going to click this icon right here, Align Top Edge. Okay, it is not cooperating with me as I am recording. Now let's make sure our space is correctly chosen. So the space uh, should be, ah, there, I wasn't clicking that. So click align, click the space. Uh, you could also manually move these around if you'd like. So make sure you hit control save. Let's go ahead and test this out and then um, wrap up this video. Then we have another one we want to do to finish up the chapter. So our mouse goes over it, looks awesome. If you click it, you should hear a sound. Excellent. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Let's continue to work through this chapter on the next video. Thanks for listening.